Hello everybody, Shift3 again, and today I'll be playing Dungeoneers. The game is a turn-based combat, I guess, D&D-like uh, game, so I will be throwing dice and hoping to roll high numbers, while the enemies are also gonna throw dice and try to roll higher numbers, I guess. I would hope they would uh, throw lower numbers, but that's the game, pretty much. It's uh, almost only a fight D&D fight. And uh, the plan, the... the the purpose of our uh, expedition here is going to be to defeat dragons, stay away from my village. And I think it's also a bit of a comedic kind of game, but uh, yeah, let's begin. I have seen some videos on it, but I haven't played it myself ever, so I guess if this is a tutorial, it's gonna be a tutorial. The evil white dragon has returned. The evil white dragon, having just attacked the village, now sleeps in its lair in the snowy peaks to the northeast. The villagers are relying on you to slay the beast before it attacks again. Yes. Your quest begins now. Ooh. So has returned to its lair, slay the beast before it attacks the village. I don't think there is gonna happen. You reach the scenic misty bluffs. Be careful. The view is not the only thing here that can take your breath away. Okay, I think he's talking a bit too loud. I'm gonna reduce like the sound one pip to reach the dragon layer you need to make your way across these bluffs then venture through the frozen forest to enter a room just click it you should try to avoid fights until you find better weapons so look for rooms with loot that is not well guarded good tips good tips let's go with options here <laughs> these are all the options by the way uh, animation speed uh, i guess well i let it as it is let's uh, reduce sound i hope this guy speaking is sound and not uh, music i mean the music is not really any problem here uh what does this pass mean oh well whatever uh, i could either go to this room with three enemies and a chest or to this room with one enemy and a rack of weapons i guess Move, click to an empty adjacent tile, sword attack, click to a tile under adjacent monster, bow attack, click to a tile under a non-adjacent monster, exit, click in an adjacent exit arrow to leave the room. Okay, so I can leave the room like this if I wanted to. Uh, melee monsters, ogres, a bunch of stuff here. Oh, weapon rack, stealth mode. Okay. Uh, is this like question marks or... Oh, it's explanations. Okay, got it. Loot bomb rack, move next to it and click to underneath it. If the sword, shield, or bow you find on the chest is better than your current, you'll take it. Weapons cannot be removed from the dungeon, even after the victory they are for this game only. Okay, stealth mode, I guess we're gonna walk around. You have entered the room and seen the monsters don't do anything until they spot you. If you move or loot, the chance of being spotted is 10%, plus 10% for each adjacent monster turned towards you. Okay, facing a direction or one rotation from that. Got it. At the end of your... Turn, if you leap, the chance of being spotted is doubled. If you attack or guard, you will be automatically spotted. Yeah, if you attack while in stealth mode, you gain plus three for the surprise. When sneaking, try to stay in behind monsters or a tile away to see the chance of being spotted. Hover over your destination, then look at the bottom left of the screen. 80%, uh, 90% to not get spotted. I could like, could I go to the rack right away? I think it's set at the end, right? It's gonna be removed from the, no. Uh, move next to it and click underneath it. I can just take the weapon right now. 9% to avoid. Melee monsters. Melee monsters will attack if next to you, otherwise they will move towards you, blah blah blah. Melee monsters, actually all monsters will a d10 to attack and defense and everybody. I think when more confronting melee monsters, consider using pits for protection. If you get surrounded, use deep scroll to get out of there. Ogres. The local ogres are notorious. He's talking. Perhaps because they like to go clubbing. Okay, and very wide pits. You cannot move over the pits, nor can you monsters. Although rarely mentioned in stories, a good engineer is quite willing to chase around pits while making get away. And uh, plus one on de at defense, and I have plus three from the surprise. Let's go pick up the weapon. 90%. 90%. Pick up the weapon. You're about to loot the weapon from a rack chest. If the bonus of the weapon, sword, shield, or bow is better than the one equipped you equipped, I will equip the new one. Well, let's see the new weapon here. Spin to win. What did it, did it, did it? We got a plus two weapon. We had a plus zero. Now I got a plus two. And uh, let's begin with a sneak shadow attack. I mean, I have minus three from the distance, but uh, yeah, until he arrives next to us. Two plus eight. Nothing. Three. Eight. Nothing again. And now that he's melee, I'm doing a plus four. Focus? I don't know what focus is. Focus bonus. Each time you miss, you gain a plus one to subsequent attacks against the same target. It's cumulative, so two misses give a plus two bonus, three plus three, and so on, up to plus ten. You lose your focus bonus if you do any of these things. Hit the target, attack a different target, 
loot a chest, enter a different room. So pretty much anything. Your focus bonus will be shown when hovering over the monster on which you are focused. Okay, we attack. Boop, we hit it and uh, we hit it us. It hit us and we hit it again and that's it. That was the fight. Uh, by the way, the game has a meta progression, so it's pretty roguelite-ish. And uh, let's go to the next fight and see how this will go. Enter the room unseen. If you attack while unseen, you'll get a bonus for surprise. If there is a chest or weapon rack in the room, consider sneaking in to first impro improvise. Yeah, I did that. If you don't like this room, you can uh, just uh, go away from the way you came. Uh, haste scrolls. Use haste scrolls to gain an immediate reaction, which you can use to either move, attack, or loot. Hasted sword attacks gain a plus one bonus. And the hasted bow attacks gain no bonus, but you don't have to let your shield down. Uh, but you don't have to let your shield down. What? Normally, if I shoot, seems like if I shoot ranged, I, uh, yeah, if I shoot ranged, I lose my shield bonus, I guess. Pick up scrolls by moving over them. To use a scroll, click the scroll icon on the left side of the screen. Okay, use haste scrolls to key moments when you need a quick advantage. And scrolls you have at the end of this game will be lost, so just use them. Got it. Weapon chests, it's pretty much the same, right? Go to weapon chests, move next to it, click underneath it. Chest will contain either a sword, shield, or bow, so it's whatever. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. Did that? What was the last one? Confronting melee. Nope. Uh, weapon chests. The last line. Weapons can only be kept between games. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Werebores. There's no need to tell the werewolves. Because werewolves are boring. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a plus five on this. Should be a kill. Wobbity wobbity. And it's not a kill, it's a miss. And now the enemies start attacking us. And I got hit. Man, we're gonna die in the first dungeon. Uh, let's go with the haste so I can move twice. You may not take a free action whenever it be move attack or whatever. Yeah, let's go. Plus eight. Boom, you're dead. And now plus two on him. And he's also dead. Very nice. Uh, let's start shooting. And I started blasting. Even with the minus three, we might be lucky. Maybe I rolled a ten. Now we have a plus one from the focus. So even with the minus, it's better to attack than move. A one. We are really lucky today. At least he rolled it. Okay, I drank a potion. So, uh... Your health potions, whenever you are reduced to zero health, shown in the bar below the portrait, you automatically drink a health potion to restore your full health. You reach zero health. So right now I have six health, that's what that means. Let's continue trying to kill him, got him. Now he goes all along and uh, picks everything up on his own. Plus four, wow. That was, uh, that was lucky. Can I also get an XP? And uh, there is nothing here to do, nothing here to do. Let's go to the next one. You enter the room stealth. Fame. If you manage to defeat the dragon, your fame level will rise and you will advance to the next challenge. Loot. You start every game with the same basic gear. The items are you found are from this quest only. In other words, you will start each quest ill-equipped having the scrap and uh, yeah, after that you power up. And then uh, either win or lot. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start getting rid of people. So, as I said before, a distance is not really something we care about because I'm gonna get the bonus boost. The... The focus boost. Leap scrolls let you jump a tile to space away. Pick up scrolls by moving over them. To use a scroll, click the scroll icon on the left side of the screen. Use leap scrolls to get out of a bad situation. Any scrolls you have at the end will be lost. Got it. Health potions, we just read them. So I don't need to read them again. Uh, yeah, let's start getting rid of people. So shooty shooty. By the way, at the bottom left here, you can see the percentage of hit. Uh, it calculates your dice rolls and the enemy dice rolls too, so I have 72% chance to hit here. Bye bye. One shot, melee is better, 54. Actually, melee is not better. My bow is better. Let's go for the range attack on this guy. 10, he's toast. He didn't even roll. <laughs> I like how it seems like when you get a 10, 1, okay, very nice. He's gonna hit us, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> seems like if you get a 10, oh. Seems like if you get a number that the enemy cannot block. So he had plus two, I rolled an eight and I had plus three. So my, actually, wait, that doesn't make sense. He could have rolled a 10. Maybe I'm miscalculating something. Oh, we got an upgrade. So that means we spin on the mega side. And now I have, it's not plus six on the one I have. It's just a plus six bow. So I now have a plus six bow instead of a plus four bow. So that means if I roll a bow again, it's going to be pretty much um, the same if or worse. So that means I cannot upgrade my bow anymore right now. To get more info about heroes or monsters, click the portrait. To learn about items in the room, items in the room, use the menu on the right of the screen. Use the gear icon on the lower right to do useful things like adjust game volume, watch a gameplay video, link your account on different platforms, resign from a game. That's going to tell really wrong. I could run away and then start blasting. 
This guy has one life. I have plus five. 76%. Let's go over here and then start blasting. I have a 10%. Yeah, now it's 94. He's dead. Weeps. I guess only with an ace I would die. I would miss. He's toast. I have a distance minus six. Doesn't matter. Minus three. Whoop, he dodged. One. He still dodged. Whoop, he didn't. I rolled a one and he didn't dodge. Nice. Spin to win. Plus, ooh, plus four. Very nice. Now, from here on out, every single attack I'm getting hit from is gonna be deflected by my plus four defense. So, if the enemy rolls four ah, and well, lower brave without after the boost, the frozen forest. what? But do not expect a warm welcome. Okay. Should I, should I wait for these? By the way, let's make the animations just a smidge faster. I want to see the difference here. Uh, I think two enemies is easier than one. Oh, very nice. I could, I could remove myself from here. Oh, I'm not removing myself. I'm just checking. Okay, got it. That's nice. And uh, this guy has plus 7 on attack and plus 3 to defense. Well, we start shooting here with 94% chance to hit. Bop, and now you're gonna move. 79% to hit. That's enough. This guy has distance on him. Ooh, he has too much distance. Can I pass? Skip action, gain 2 defense against melee misses, counter with swords. Against melee misses, counter with swords. That's nice. Uh, by selecting the tile under yourself, you are choosing to guard. Guarding is only a good idea if there are lots of monsters next to you. Normally, it's better to select a monster to attack by clicking the tile under you still. Yes, because I want him to come closer. Now I will start blasting. Because if I move to the front, he would also move to the front and he would be closer to us. Purple Worms. Occasionally, a purple worm will emerge from a pit and attack a random adjacent target. The worm will withdraw back to the depths if it has nothing adjacent to attack. Monsters attacked by the worm will attack it back. There are up to three worms per game. Exception, purple worms will not attack the dwarf and will even stay to fight by side. Awesome. There is a dwarf character. If a worm emerges next to you, move away so that it will eat something else. Ah, very nice. And uh, is this... You know what? I want to test right away if uh, killing the enemy is going to remove the worm from existence. It does not. It doesn't matter. Now we learn. Let's go away. Now it's going to retreat. There is almost no reason to kill enemies here. You can kill enemies in case you just want some XP, but otherwise there is no real reason. Um, I guess we can go here, because this is just a scroll and XP, so I think I will go here. I mean, let's go for the scroll and the XP. Why would I fight two enemies? Here, 94%. You're dead. Off you go. You're dead. Off you go. You're dead. Easy peasy, clicky clicky. Werewolves. I wanted to read the werewolves uh, thing, but it's okay. Let's go over here. Nothing new. Um, I guess I should start moving. Oh, let's go and try to find a new bow, I guess. Not that we can. Oh, there are... Okay, we can actually upgrade, but we need to roll the higher. Yeah, it's okay. No improvement. Uh, let's move over here and let's start blasting. Boop, you're dead. And boop, you're dead too. Easy peasy. I, I hit him with a two because I have the plus six bow of death. There's no reason to go here, as I said. I can go from either entrance if I want, but uh, there is no reward here other than XP, so I will not go there. There are some scrolls and two potions. Oh, and a shield. Let's go for this. This is a two life. I mean, two potions means plus three max life, pretty much. And uh, yeah, even if I lose one life here, that means three potions. I should have attacked this guy first. That was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, you know what? I want to I wanna try the shield action. 91 to hit. 87 to hit. These guys have plus 4 on hit and I have plus 4 on defense. So, uh, actually, 87% to kill. Yeah, bye. She hit me. Rage plus 2. Continues hitting me. Rage plus 2 and a potion has been drunk. No, no health potions left. Yeah, but there are two in this area. Is there something that was important to read? I don't know. Still, there are two potions in this area. So as long as I'm not dying right now, I will have more potions than I had before. The Human's Swordman is now level 2. You gain the full swing skill. If next to only one monster, plus 2 sword and 10% chance to cleave for 2 damage. If I'm next to one monster, I have a chance to cleave for 2 damage. Um, I guess the cleave just means that it's gonna do 2 damage. Because otherwise, it doesn't make sense. What do you mean cleave? Only when you're next to one monster. I think I might read that wrong. I'm gonna... Can I look at the skills right now? What is this, by the way? Oh, I can see the dragon right away. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I There is nothing here, as I said. There is, uh, there is a new weapon here, so let's go to the new weapon. 
I think this is a safer spot. Let's shoot this arrow down first. When I say arrow, I mean spider. Let's kill the spider. She's toast, and she should also be toast. Whoop! She survived. Um, from what am I gaining the rage? What's giving me the rage buff? Yeah, okay, spiders. I don't know what the, from what I'm getting. What's giving me the rage buff? Did I? There might be a chance that I skipped ahead. Plus five, so three improvement from the old one. Let's go over here. Uh, spellcasters. Spellcasters. Spellcasters will move as far away from you as they can. They will then take a turn to prepare a spell, either an enlarge fireball or summon. They will then cast a spell from any distance. If a caster has a spell prepared, the spell image will appear in front of the caster. You can disrupt the spell by hitting them. The attack stat for a spellcaster is indicated by a hand. If no spells prepared, the hand icon will be dimmed. Is this cast spell? Yeah, this is uh, the hand. Okay, this is an archer, and this is an archer too. So I guess these guys will start running. So uh, let's kill uh, this one first so that I can chase this one to towards the mage. Okay, I missed. Do the... Uh, exclamation marks. A spellcaster has prepared the fireball spell to cast next round. The fireball will result in an attack using the caster's attack stat against you and any monsters next to you. Expect the caster. The spell will be disrupted if the caster is hit before the spell is cast. I don't think I can hit him. Oh, I can hit him from here. Let's go. I missed. Okay. I got hit. I still got my second mana potion though. Okay, I think it's time for some haste potions. Shoot this guy down. Let's shoot this guy down. Okay, I missed. He hit me though. Uh, let's shoot him down again. Enlarge itself. A spellcaster, yeah, okay. Each time a monster is enlarged, its attack and defense stats increase by two. He still has one life though, so let him do what he wants. As long as I'm shooting down people, uh, you can have two more defense. I have plus six both attack. You're dead. Next. Fireball. I can't shoot him from the year. I guess leap. Uh, you may leap to an unoccupied tile up to two space away. Click the destination tile. Uh, here, I guess. Can I shoot now? Yeah, I can shoot. One shot. Yes, bye. Next. Start shooting this guy. He's those two. And uh, I wasted one potion, but I found another potion. Ah, the bow is the same. And I found some scrolls. I have a thousand scrolls, man. Let's go to the lair. So, dragon time. Dragon. Dragons. The reason you're here. I have a standard melee attack plus a breath attack if ready. Breath is used if the dragon is two space away, either before or after it moves. Brr, okay, so three spaces away or one space next to you if it can move away and attack you. Breath will only be ready if on the prior round the dragon neither attacked nor was hit. Okay, if I spam attacks, he will not be able to dragon breath us. If reduced to one health, the dragon goes into a defensive mode where if breath is ready, it behaves like a missile monster. If breath is not ready, it withdraws. If cornered, it melee attacks. There is no penalty for sneaking next to a sleeping dragon. Oh, so I can get next to him if I want. And I think I can... Can I pick this up? Okay, I saw somebody play this game and he was like, this last chest is useless because it has a weapon in it and the dragon, uh, after you defeat the dragon, the game ends. But uh, I think you can just sneak over here with 90% chance and uh, get a get an extreme weapon for the fight, man. And when I say extreme, I mean just plus one. But still, uh, it is a free weapon nonetheless. I'm thinking about starting to blast because my range attack and my melee attack is the same. And the enemy has a range attack only if, it, uh, if I miss all the time. And his range attack is plus nine, so even if it does breath attack... Okay for me. I missed. It has a plus 10 defense by the way. Uh, haste is better close by I think. This is just a move and I'm gonna lose my turn. Miss. It's gonna breath. Yep. Okay. Let's, let's move over to the left. I think moving waste a turn, right? Yeah, moving waste a turn. From here on out I will know. Oh, it's fighting. Good, good, good job. Let's go for haste for a double attack. Kaboom. And another one. Kaboom. Got him. Got him. And now the snake might kill him. Or it might kill the snake. I got 26 XP or was it you? I will go for another haste as uh, there is literally no reason not to use these things. Here you go. A 9 is better than a 2. And your feet ability has improved. Your feet attack bonus will now range from 0 to 2. Oh, 
you slay the dragon and spinny. <laughs> I like the spin. Okay, now we know the game. Uh, you gain 2% bonus to all future XP rewards. Ignore the root. If you roll a 1 on defense and would otherwise be hit, a trinket will cancel the hit. The villagers will now bestow upon you a lucky trinket. A fair start, I must say. I like when it's iron. Flames, flame scroll unlocked. Flame scrolls let you create a fire barrier to keep monsters away. Okay, got it. Easy peasy. And I got XP for the rolls I for these things I had. Very nice. Slew a white drag. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, he's crazy. He's even uh, trembling if I move over him. Oh no, he's normally trembling. Look at this guy. He's trembling. Okay, let's go for another one. Let's go for uh, flame scrolls. Uh, no, before I go... Flame scrolls. Yeah, okay. Before I go... I want to see my hero here. I want to see his abilities and stuff. There are other heroes too, but I don't have them unlocked yet. So let's go over the human swordsman. Bull rush, push a monster back, then attack it with a sword. Do I have this? I have this. Well, the tutorial didn't say me. Rage, after unfortunate events, plus two to next attack. Okay, got it. Got it. So if I miss, sometimes I get a plus two. Punt, punt small humanoids that hit you. Okay. Uh, whenever a small humanoid hits with a melee attack, your anger causes you to punt it back one space. Small humanoids include goblins, kobolds, lead mushroom men, skeleton horses, and maimed zombies. Rage. Is there more explanation? Each time you're a hit or you miss when you had a 70% more chance of hitting, you gain 2 plus to range. Bonus is cumulative up to plus 10. Rage continues until you hit successful or leave the room. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. A nice passive when I get hit too. And uh, bull rush. How does that work? You may shove a monster into an occupied space behind it, and then attack it with your sword, uses, using modified base on your new location. Okay, you cannot bull rush monsters with more than than either 1 HP point or 5 defense. If you shove a non-floating monster into a pit, it will fall in its death, causing any monster adjacent to the pit to panic and skip their next turn. What? To bull rush, click on an empty tile behind an adjacent monster. Got it, got it, got it. That's awesome, by the way. I should always bush, bull rush, either to get a better positioning or to just push enemies into pits. Speed bonus up to plus 2, bull rush any size monster. If one of your attack is particularly impressive, you will trigger a feat. A feat gives you two free, up to 2 free actions, but the feat ends as soon as you attack. During the feat, you will gain a separate attack bonus against each monster. This attack bonus will range from 0 to plus X, where X is half your level rounded up, capped at 7. You also get a special ability during the feat. The swordsman can bull rush any size monster, but not into a pit. The brawler has a 75% cleaving. Wait. The Swordsman can bull rush any size monster, but on a pit. The Brawler has a 75% of cleaving for 2 damage when charging, and the Huntress can leap 3 spaces. You cannot use scrolls during feats. I got full swing. If the next only one, if next to, yeah, if your target is the only monster next to you, gain plus 2 bonus to your sword attack. Also, 10% chance to cleave for 2 damage. Full swing 2, chance, okay, forget these things. So we are here right now. Full swing 1. Your target is next to. If your target... Oh, if the target is next to only one monster. What? If the target is the only... Okay, if 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 the one I'm attacking is the only one next to me, gain two bonus to your sword attack. That's good. Also, 10% chance to cleave for two damage. I guess cleave in this game means... It, it either means that it's splash, because if I can attack enemies that are next to him, it's splash, I guess. Or it means just that it does two damage. And the, the wording is cleave just because. Uh, I can see the character seed. Yeah, I believe with no I start with nothing. Elven Huntress is uh, after I reach level fame 4. I guess in the next video. So for now, I'm going to do another swordsman just to get uh, used to the game. 1, 2, 3. Sanken Abbey. Yeah, okay. I'm not really sure I care about what engineers the, the, the game. Uh, let's go for the sh bow first. Let's go for the bow first. Are these frogs? Bull rush. Oh, now it learns me. Uh, okay, I, I know how this works. <laughs> let's uh, let's start blasting. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna bull rush here because I'm gonna go into the enemy territory. Maybe we get a kill here. We got it. If we get a kill here, 70% chance to kill. Yep, you're dead. 76% chance to kill. And I missed. And I'm raged. I'm super raged. Ah! It's a kill. Let's cut the bow. Let's go for a plus bow. Ah, plus three. Plus three is decent. Uh, now I could go for a sword. Let's go for a sword. An enemy is also ranged. The luck of the dice. The dice rolls are random, so prepare for some bad luck. You also have good luck, but if you are a normal human being, you won't notice that much. much. <laughs> Skillful players reduce the roll of luck by avoiding unneeded combat. Unless they have a strong tactical position or dominant stats, discretion, as they say, is the better part of valor. 
Did they say it? Over the course of the game, you may lack... Uh, the many lack elements tend to cancel each other out. Ultimate success will depend on skillful gameplay. Whoa. Skillful gameplay. Uh, yeah, let's start shooting the frogman. And his host. Next up, the normal frog. Uh, the ugly frog, actually. It's not a normal frog. This is... Oh, it's an evil frog. The, uh, is there any normal frog in this game? <laughs> uh, let's spin for the plus. And we got a plus four. That's very nice. Uh, use flame scrolls to create defensive barriers on flames. Or use them offensively against floating monsters. Offensively against floating monsters, God, like gas spores or ghosts. Pick up scrolls by moving over them to use. I know. Use flame scrolls to keep monsters away, then attack with your bow. Any scrolls you have at the end of this game will be lost, as always. Uh, let's go for the big treasure against the snake here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from the melee snake. Experience points. As your hero gains XP, they will uh, go up levels and gain skills. The best way to generate XP is not to grind, but to instead focus on winning each game by defeating the dragon. Here's why. Victories advance you to more dragons per dungeon, and dragons are the best source of XP. Victories increase fame, and each fame level gives you an XP bonus. Fame will also unlock game modes with more XP opportunities. Okay, so dragons at this. We go for this. Minus one on defense. Yeah, you're dead. Off to the next one. Minus two on defense. Uh... I was thinking about bull rushing, but... Oh, I can bull rush him. Here, shoot him. Okay, now... Yeah, you get bull rushed. Whoopsie! Now you get melee attack to death. Bull rush is an insta-kill, by the way, so there's no dice rolls, no nothing. Ah, plus three bow. Whoops, nothing to be gained. Uh, let's go for a good shield, then. I see the snakes are joke for monsters about us. We're a small team of experienced developers. That's not unusual. That's unusual. What's unusual is that Dungeoneers is a lifelong project. We've been working on it for close to a decade, and we plan to develop it until some monsters finally gets the better of us. No, man. I, I, good, good for you, by the way. Go, so give us feedback. We'll get to it eventually. And if you're enjoying the game, please leave a good review to spread the word. By the game, uh, by the way, this, uh, this game is... Uh, is uh, what's it called? It's still in development, it seems. <laughs> and I think there is also a free version to play on the site. I think I will uh, link below the free version. 99% to hit. And then it's gonna hit us to cleave. I got a cleave off. Nice. I shoot here. I started blasting, as I said. I should have just came down here. Yeah, he this is a free kill. There's no reason to risk anything. Not getting hit. Nothing. Let's spin to win. No up. Nice. Let's go for the plus six. Whoa, plus four. Ah, meh. I wanted at least a plus five. At least a plus five. Uh, let's, uh, let's go next to the one. Oh, this is a mad caster. No, let's go next to one enemy instead of two, you know. Lizard man. Plus three, plus three. You know what? I think this is an easier fight. Cancel out. Go from here. And now this guy is gonna be one shot. 97% and then I can start blasting this guy with my bows. What's about lizard man? Lizardman. Sorry, Just but so. you tried to think anything wrong. Lizard man come in variety of sizes, colors, and shapes. Just kidding, they're all big green lizards. Haha, <laughs> you 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 find a better one. You're toast. One shot. Come on, one shot. Whoa, missed. But that means focus power activates, and uh, he might attack us. Nope, I have a plus six sword. Wait, I didn't have a plus six sword. I don't know why I one shot him. Uh, to the marshes. To the marshes. Now the marshes oh, is uh, this area. This? Some zombos here with no oh, rewards whatsoever. Another one. And this is giving us a new sword. Let's go for this one. I see big monsters. Dungeon. Dung monster. Dung monster. Whatever that is. Uh, I guess we can just inflame. Can I use this? Three tiles connected. One, two, three. It lasts five, four, and three rounds. Oh. Oh, then I can just uh, cancel. I just want to... Flame 2, so that they... Yeah, if I inflame 2, they will last uh, one more round. Enemies will start running around. I guess they're not. Dung monsters? Oh, now they start running around. So I got a free round from flames. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's advisable to use your bow instead of your sword purely for sanity. Okay. It's a meme. Got a hit on him. He's running. He didn't get a hit on him this time. Come over here. Start blasting. I have a plus four sword, so I'm not not really concerned about them coming too close. Bop, you're dead. Bop, miss. That means focus power goes up. Miss, focus power goes up. I have a rage at this time. I have a 100% chance to kill him. So he's dead. I didn't even wait for the roll. I like how the game doesn't... Ooh, let's go for the plus nine. Whoa, plus eight. Yeah, now we're distraction incarnate. Sword of overwhelming force. Yeah, death and, death and distraction sword, you mean.
I see your archer. They are missile monsters. Missile monsters attack from a distance. They behave as follows. If two away, they shoot. If further than two away, they move towards you. If stuck at three away, they shoot with a minus three. If stuck at four away, they wait. If next to you, they withdraw. There's no space to withdraw. They become cornered. Okay, and uh, if I one-shot them, they are pretty much dead. Let's uh, start with the basics, you know. This guy's toast. Uh, let's speed up the, the animation just... A smidge. I want to see how fast these things can go. Oh, it's just them moving. Okay, so the dash rolls are the same. Okay, can I get an improvement bow? <laughs> wow, nice. Nothing is found. Last time we were an archer, today we are a swordsman. Uh, two potions, we are going for those. This is useless and this is also useless. As the game said, no reason to farm whatsoever. Bye. I have a plus eight sword, man. Plus zero. Plus, why, why do I have plus zero? Why was that plus zero? Oh, because he was ranged. Uh, he was too far away. And now with the focus, it's 100% on kill. By the way, here at the very bottom, you can see the chances. You don't need to calculate pretty much anything. Uh, I see a bow here, I think. But I think I will go here so I get the backstab attack on that area. Plus 13. Yeah. Plus three. He has plus three, actually. I have plus four. Miss. That should be a kill here. Bob dead. And Bob dead. Easy peasy. Spin to win. Whoopity doopity. Oh, nice. Let's go for the plus nine. Oh, plus seven. Plus seven is decent. At this point, I should be also damage immune. You gain the parry skill. 20% chance to parry the first melee attack each round. Okay. Straight up 20% chance to not get hit. Very nice. Uh, The lair? No, no. I, I want this uh, shield bow, whatever that is. It's a bow. Yeah, I have a plus three bow. Maybe we find something better. Uh, start blasting. Is this a mage? Nope, none of those are mage. Let's start blasting. The moment they come next to us, they will get hit from a bit with a big plus ten. Uh, I oh wait, what is this? Can I shove here? I'm I'm not gonna save myself either way. You know what? I have five hastes. There's no reason to get hit at all. Assassinate them. I mean, maxing up to a point. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, there's no reason to go to those. Let's go to the lair. I'm next to the dragon. Okay, there's a 90% chance he wakes. I, I will run for the weapon. There's no reason to let the weapon be last. Sword. Well, I already have a good sword. Yeah, it's okay. I wanted a bow, but it is what it is. Uh, I would say... Let's go with... Uh, Stay far away and, sh and blast type of uh, playstyle. I should have burned him. You know what? Let's go for some flames. I should have done flames. Okay, now he's gonna... I, I can move away. He cannot come close. I can blast him from afar. Here you go. He still has the breath ready. Ah. I'm enraged. Let's go. Yeah, you run. You better run. And you're dead. Nope. I rolled a four. And he's too far away for me to do anything. Uh, I guess let's go for the assassination. Leap one. You cannot use the same type of scroll twice. Are you kidding me? Okay then, haste. Arrow shots, let's go. Boom, plus four. Let's go, plus five. Boom, got him. That's it. I'm a dragon slayer. Oh, spinny flip. I like when they spin. You gain plus two additional bonus to future XP rewards. That's why you should not uh, farm the same levels. Villagers will now bestow upon you the Slugger Trinket, a Roof Ember. If you roll a 1 on defense and you would otherwise be hit, the Trinket will constantly hit out. I guess these stack, and if you have like 5 of them, you will get the first 5 hits removed. So if you combat, whatever, but we want more. And you trigger a feat. <laughs> Give us some Razmataz. Impress us. Okay, boys. Okay, I, I get it, girls. When you trigger a feat, you get a free turn that includes an extra move and attack bonus. Feats are triggered by exceptional high dice rolls and... Wait, I didn't have those? I was reading stuff that I didn't even have and I got some XP. Plus 10 XP for the... You know what? Because of this, I, I normally would like to keep them... Okay. I normally would keep these... Uh, I want to keep them short and sweet. Uh, I think about doing one more run just because this is the first video. And then from tomorrow on, I will do like 35 minutes uh, and uh, less. You know, let's go for the green dragon. Uh, the liar. <laughs> a mistral happens when the trigger is... Yeah, okay, got it. Let's begin. I guess the, the thing shown below is uh, the new stuff that you learn. Green dragon is returned to the lair. The great dragon poison breath is an antidote for an delusion of grandeur. Okay, got it. 
this the menu screen. Uh, I guess let's start. It's the same. It's the same. I guess we can start here, pushing enemies into that if they come from our left. Feet mode. Take up to two actions, but attack nor guarding will end the feet. Attacks gain the feet bonus indicated on the target. Indicated on what target? Plus two. Oh, if I shoot this, it's plus two. Mm. I was thinking about... Let's go over here and shoot him from afar. I want to push enemies into... Let's just keep everybody away. Here you go. Got him. And you're insta-dead. Whoopsie! I'm gonna insta-kill whenever I find pits. That's literally his skill. I mean, if I'm not gonna use that skill, that's not playing the character. Um, I think I can one-shot these, right? Yeah, this indicates a push. Here you go. Whoopsie! They're panicked. Uh, I was thinking about moving back. They will move too. Now whoever comes next to me. That was the good choice. That was also the right choice. And everybody's dead. Let's go for a big shield. Plus two. I mean, shield of second thoughts. It's good. Let's go over the spider. She has a reward over there. And the spider then. It's, it's scarabs. I know it's beetles here. Let's read for the beetles a bit. Large ones. Got it. Beetles, large ones. You're dead. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I cannot really avoid here. I should have pushed the enemy too. I guess I should shield. Let's go with shielding. How much attack do they have? Plus zero. Yeah, let's defend. If they hit us and they miss, I attack for free. Yep. Denied? Okay. Now I can run away from them though. Here, let's push him just for the fun of it. Easy peasy. So I, I, I used both of my trinkets. It said deny twice, so I used both of my trinkets. I hope they are not a one-time thing, and I hope they are actually... I have two dodges every dungeon. Uh, I see a new weapon here. This is a useless fight. Let's go to the new weapon. Snakes have minus one on defense. Let's try to maneuver ourselves around while killing the snakes. And uh, that should be it pretty much. I guess I still want to maneuver myself around. In case I missed three times in a row, I could throw it into a pit. Plus two bow, no improvement. Okay. Lack is running out. What's that green thing? Um, I guess from left it's going to be safer. These guys are going to be joke fights either way. Yeah, let's just go. Hags. Hags. I'm not it's here. best to just let the hags. Okay, uh, normally uh, this, this doesn't hags. give us any good info, right? I'm not here. They lack the strength to be in threat, but they are difficult to hit because they are difficult to look at. Oh, that's why they have plus two. Got it. You're dead. Yeah, yeah. I should have killed this hag first. Because I cannot push this hag into the pit while the other one might have been possible. The only reason I did this is to have a better positioning here. Let's start blasting, as we always do. Here, let's kill this guy first. Miss. Your turn. Miss. Uh, I guess I can push him into the pit. Select which monster, doesn't matter. The other one's getting stunned either way. Panicked! Whoop, dead. Okay. Something, there was very something. I didn't read it. something. Something, 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 something. Um... The tangled woods. For while many adventurers have entered, rather fewer have left. Okay. Let's go over to the area that gives us a reward. Um, yeah, there's like no reason to move around. The only thing I could do is push this guy into the pit over here and attack him. So when he comes close, I can push him into the pit. Oi, oi, oi. Now I can... Oh, I cannot push this guy into the pit. Oh, I missed. I got rage though. I parried. 20%, man. 20%. Let's actually start moving away from the pit. Okay, good job. Because I didn't want the... the what's it called? The worm to attack us. I got a new sword. That's decent. Uh, there is an item here too. Let's go over here. Where are these guys? Mushroom men. Mm, mushroom Searing dungeons, consider yeah. the mushroom men. Uh huh. Savory compliment, whatever. Uh, two, three. One, two. Start blasting. That's dead. You start coming close to us. I will just attack forever until you die. You know what? Let's run. Let's shove. Oy, 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 oy. Let's go back. Let's attack. Yeah, if he, if he came close, he was getting shoved or two. Shove is a free kill. I don't know why you would not use this. Whoops. Please don't say the other sound effects are open too. 
Uh, give me here half a second. Okay, I closed everything. Um, yeah, I mean, there is a potion here, and potion is extremely good. Let's go over here. Ooh. Oh, now that's it's important. Got it. If you hit the gas bore or put the flame under or next to it, the gas bore will explode, causing an attack against anything adjacent. Gas bores float, so pits do not block their path. And uh, it's these guys, right? So my question is, if I attack this... You know what? Let's flame. Let's flame one, two, and I guess... Uh, Oh, uh, the, the flames have to be connected. So, two, three. So, this should explode, this should explode, this should explode, everything should die. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Easy peasy, mate. Easy peasy. We lost the flame, but it's okay. I mean, we didn't lose it, we used it. Use it or lose it. It's it's either way, use it or lose it. So, it's it's gonna die instantly. I got a freet. Start blasting this guy. Is this guy ranged? I didn't even check. He's not. Let's continue blasting. Continue blasting. And if he comes next to us, off you go, my boy. Free. <laughs> Very easy. Best character yet. I mean, I haven't seen the, the rest of the characters. There is a bow there. 10% uh, to sneak. I would say let's go buy a new bow. 10% to sneak. Buy the bow. It's obviously not buy, but yeah, plus five. Very nice. A three improvement. Now let's start shooting. Drider. This game is definitely a D&D &D inspired game. The difference being is that the Drider, for some reason, doesn't have range attack. He should. Riders have bows. Start blasting and start off you. Oh, she has... Wait. Very well. Why can I not push her? I mean, isn't it supposed to be based on how much defense he ha she has? I want to I wanna check. I want to check. Bull rush. You cannot pull rush monsters with more than either one each hit point or five defense. I guess, I guess because uh, because his max HP is not enough. Yeah. What is? Uh, isn't there like an ability? I thought I read something that says uh, bull rush any size monsters. Okay, so the feet. If I get the feet bonus, then I can bull rush any size monsters. Got it. Let's slay. Uh, oh, I know it was an easy fight, but better learn this early than later. Imagine later on being like, okay, I can bull rush him and then boom, enemies are gonna destroy us. Okay, we push this guy in the pit. Off you go. Missed, missed. Uh, push this guy in the pit. This one, obviously. Okay, at least the, the monstrosity here panicked. Assassinate this guy. Okay, so even if I run away... It's still gonna explode, right? Yeah, I think even if I run away, it's still gonna explode. Let's get a shield of plus five. Literally not the number I said. <laughs> not even close to the number. I, I didn't even say six, you know. Let's go over here. Bull rush this guy to the doom. To his doom. Insta kill. Hit. And hit. Easy peasy. The game is right now easy, but I don't think it's going to be forever. I hope from tomorrow on it's gonna be harder. Mm, should I go for the... Yeah, I think I should go for the 90%. Sneaky, sneaky, slow. Slow and steady. Let's go for a leap. And let's get this. Spinny flippy. Plus five. No improvement. So there was literally no reason to do that. Uh, I'm thinking about going here. And applying some flames to the dragon. For four turns. Yeah, you can stay there. I was thought... I don't think the dragon really flies. And uh, he cannot actually flame breath us from here. Do the do these do different things? No, no. Continue blasting. I missed six percent chance to hit. I don't care. I will continue hitting. Ten percent chance to hit. Because the moment he comes close to us, he might attack us. I have five potions, so I don't care. What is this? Trinkets. Ah. We'll just give trinkets protection. If you roll a one on a defense and you would otherwise be hit, a trinket will be cancelled the hit. If guarding, if guarding, the roll required to raise is to one for ah. That's why when I rolled, I got a bunch of trinkets to um, trigger. You, when I shielded, you gain your first trinket when you reach level one. Okay, so it's it's pretty much free blocks. Now that I have missed three times, though, I got plus three focus. So now I do fifty five attack. And the moment he comes close, yeah, that's the moment I go for the haste and start blasting. Boom. 14 on hit. And another one. Full swing plus two. Here you go. So the passive that I do plus two on those. 
Um, yeah, I mean, let's haste up and let's start blasting again. Hit, done. And you know what I should also start doing? I should start using flame surrounding the dragon when he's coming next to us so that he cannot avoid us and we start attacking. He has a plus 11, but me with my double haste, I have a plus 7 at this fight because uh, because I have the passive that only if one only one enemy is next to us. Oh, I got an upgrade. Something 0 to 3. I'm gonna read in a bit. Actually, you know what? Let me go back to the footage. You gain plus 2 additional reward. Casting a bottle lightning D10 plus 10 attack against everything along straight line. That's nice. Available from the next game. And I got some XP here, plus 4 for the <laughs> shield. What a joke. But still. You slew the dragon, he's crazy man, she's happy and he's crazy. It's clear to the sky of the village, very nice. And um, you advance to the fifth circle. Sophia. Fifth circle plus 10% XP. Oh, there is... Oh, there is... Okay, I get it. 262. Nelik Norgrad. 53 dragons. One month ago. Oh, these guys stopped playing. Maybe we can beat them. Maybe we can catch up to them and beat them. If I play this enough. Tournament. There's a tournament. 16th. 39M. I don't know. Six, 16 hours, 39 minutes. I guess. One day, one day, one day. I don't know if it's how old these guys are. Bilbo. Woody Red Dragons. 3D, 36. Uh, the fifth circle contains the hundred players. The hundred players who kill the green dragon immediately before you. Immediately before you. Okay. To advance to the next circle and increase XP awards, you must achieve a victory which places you within the top thirty. Your current rank is hundred. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Three stars, and all these are before me. Is it always a spot hundred? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm gonna do a win. There are tournaments, campaigns, daily hunts. There are a bunch of things here. I'm going to go through these next time. The only thing I want to really quickly see here is what I unlocked. Uh, you know what? Let me pause the video and go see. Okay, so I went back to the footage and, see, and saw what changed. And the difference is that uh, <laughs> the feed bonus is plus up to, up to three. That, that's the difference here. Instead of being from zero to... Yeah. Instead of being from zero to two, it's from zero to three. Uh, it's half my level, I mean, <laughs> it's it's literally what it does. Round up. So next turn it's gonna be plus 3, next level, and then next level it's gonna be plus uh, 4, etc, etc. There are a bunch of levels here on the characters, they can get up to 24 levels, plus 3. Pressing. I don't even have the press ability yet. I, I don't even have the screw ability. And uh, next time I'm most likely gonna start playing another character, so I will play the swordsman and then also another character. But uh, yeah, I want to keep these short. I want to make this game a series on the channel. That, my idea is to make the series out of this because this is a game that I can easily pop in and pop out of because uh, the, the, the dungeons are a bit small. I hope they are not gonna become huge. But the way the game is set up, it seems like the dungeons are going to be small. So I can definitely fit two or three dungeons in a run if it's going to be less than 40 minutes long or something. Because uh, today, I mean, the first dungeon was tutorial. So that took us about 15, 18 minutes or maybe 20. And then the other two took uh, 10 each, I think. So uh, overall, this is going to be like a relaxed experience that I want to bring into the channel. Uh, just so that I have another game that I play that uh, seems decent. I mean, I like the game. It's it's pretty simple. It's uh it's turn based combat. Uh, it's it's the basic of combat turn based combat. The more basic cannot be happening. I mean, there are some skills and stuff that might make it a bit more complicated. Maybe some enemies are gonna have some abilities or something like that. But right now it's really basic and simple, and I like it. So I'm gonna keep at it. If you guys liked it too, maybe drop a like, help me out the channel. And actually, what would be more important, maybe comment and tell me if you like it. If you want to see a bit more of this. I mean, it might not become a 50 uh, episode series, but uh, maybe it can become, I guess, a 10 episode series or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, if you want to support me even more, there is always Patreon for that. <laughs> As you see, there are not many rewards, not very exciting rewards on the Patreon, but at least you can have your name on the screen for uh, two minutes, three minutes, however much I analyze at the end. <laughs> Either way, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and see you guys around.